when's the vagina more than just a vagina? What I mean by that is, you can meet any woman, anywhere. Let's start back home from where you come from, from where you originate from. Whatever country that may be, you meet a woman, you have sex, you have intercourse, call it what you will. You have an orgasm, she maybe has an orgasm. The relationship goes on for however long it goes on for and it ends, it invariably ends. For a lot of people, she had a vagina, you enjoyed that vagina. Or did you? Or was it just a means to satisfy your horniness and have your orgasm? Because when you think about it, you can hire an escort, stroke hooker, stroke prostitute, stroke whore, whatever you may wish to call that person. They will give you uh, sex in exchange for money. The oldest profession in the world. Now you go with that whore, that hooker. Doesn't matter where, back in your home country, in the Philippines, in Thailand, in America, wherever. And more than likely, you're gonna have that orgasm. You're gonna come. Maybe you're wearing a condom, but you're gonna come. She had a vagina. You enjoyed her vagina. But it was just casual sex. Or going back to the first example, it was perhaps just sex and nothing more. Nothing really behind it, no real emotion. Just sex for the sake of sex. And that is a common factor. Everyone's heard of a one night stand. You have sex. You put your penis into the, uh, her vagina. You have an orgasm. You've enjoyed it, more or less, for what it was worth. But there was nothing long-lasting about it. And I don't mean long-lasting in terms of an orgasm. I mean long-lasting in terms of happiness. Your emotions are satisfied long-term. You could have met a woman in your home country thought everything was great. Her vagina was wonderful. You had sex every day, every night, three times a day, or at least at the beginning. Every orgasm was strong. Every orgasm was mind blowing. Even for both of you, you thought you'd found heaven. You thought she came to love you that she came to break your heart. And as you reflect back, it was just a vagina that disappointed. Sure, you exploded inside her, but it disappointed for there was nothing long lasting about what that vagina represented. Who? that vagina represented. So, you come to the Philippines. You meet the woman of your dreams, the Filipina of your fantasy. And it's for real, you've met the right person. And you make love. Perhaps for the first time in your life, you're making love. You're not just having sex, that's all you ever had before. One, two, whether sex lasted five seconds or three hours, whether you had sex once a week, once a month, once a year, five times a day, 
it was sex with no meaning behind it, no true feelings behind it. It was just an act that you had to do and get over with. It was a sexual act and nothing more. But now you've met the person you've always dreamed of. You found her in the Philippines. And now you're enjoying the pleasures of making love. And making love is far stronger than just having sex for the sake of just having sex for the sake of relieving your pent up sexual whatever making love is more than just sex it's a whole body of existence, if you will. Because it doesn't just end with it. When you have a whore, you pay her the money, you have your orgasm, you're both polite, thank you, bye, and you go. You feel guilty that you wasted money, that you've had a whore. And what was it all for? Nothing. But when you make love, and you've had your orgasm and perhaps later on in the day you and your Filipina go out somewhere maybe you go out to eat in a restaurant or go for a walk you feel that happiness resonate within far stronger than anything you've known before because when you make love as opposed to just having sex. You're bonding. That's what you're doing. You are bonding. Yes, at the beginning, you're gonna have more sex than huh, 10 years down the line, mostly. That's just the way it is, but you are bonding. So you've had the sex in the bedroom. It lasted, let's just say, a ballpark figure. 30 minutes, okay, 40 minutes, the whole thing. You're both in a good mood, you're both happy. Your love becomes stronger. You're both special to each other. And life is wonderful because you never just had sex, you made love. You bonded. You can never bond just having sex. You might James Bond, but you can't bond. You can relieve your pent up sexual frustration, just having sex for the sake of having sex with someone you don't particularly love or somebody you thought you loved and they dump you in the end. But when you meet the right person, and for us guys, it's gonna be meeting the right person in the Philippines, a Filipina. For someone else, it's a Thai girl, or it's even a Westerner. But for us, it's not. When you meet the right person, you no longer will ever have sex again. For making love is far more of an aphrodisiac. Making love is far stronger than having sex could ever be. Making love fulfills both of you. It cements a relationship. It makes the foundations of your relationship with your Filipina stronger. Because when you have sex, even if you thought you found the right person, in the end, your foundations were made of sand. And sand swirls with the incoming tide or the wind. Sand is not a strong foundation. And that's that really. Anyone can have sex. You can be the most ugly person ever. 
and pay a hooker and have sex, if that's what you want. If you just want a simple transaction, you don't want the problems of having a relationship, and that's fine. Nothing wrong with going for a hooker or a bar girl or whatever. I'm just saying most people would rather have a relationship, a loving relationship, a long lasting relationship, a strong relationship. And my point of this video is there is a huge, huge, huge difference between having sex with someone and making love with someone. There are some people that will never know what it's like to make love. They've maybe had sex with more women than you'll ever have. But all they ever did was have sex. The joys of making love are far superior. The joys of making love, I think, improve your mental health in as much as the world's all right. And the person you're with, in our case, the Filipina, they too become fulfilled. They too become happier. Think about it this way. I use an analogy. You've got a bedroom or you've got a living room that you need to paint because the paint that's presently on your walls is old and yellowing. So I look at having sex as throwing some paint on top of the old paint. You haven't prepared the wall properly, you just slapped a similar colour or perhaps a different colour paint on that wall to make the wall look better. In other words, you've done a shoddy job. Someone else prepares that wall. They take off the old paint. They sand paper the wall down. And then they apply an undercoat. And then a second coat, and if needs be a third coat. And that wall looks far superior than the other person's wall where he just slapped any old rubbish on the wall. And that's kind of, it's a bad analogy, but that's kind of what I mean by making love or just having sex. There's a place for just having sex, of course. And if you're young, 17, 18, as a guy, perhaps you're sowing your oats and that's all you want. You're not ready for a proper relationship yet. Well, that's fine. But there comes a time in your life when you want a long lasting, genuine, honest relationship. So think about it. What would you rather do? Come to the Philippines and have sex, have lots of sex, or are you in the camp that would like to come to the Philippines and make love? The choice is yours, that's all.